Good morning! It's time for Real Estate Over Breakfast. Hi, I'm Lisa Norton with your Paradise Group of Caldwell Banker United Realtors. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about you're getting ready to buy. Maybe you're a first time home buyer. Maybe you're a former homeowner or you're a seller getting ready to sell your property and you're going to start uh, purchasing a new home and it's been so long you're not quite sure What's my very first step? What's the most important thing for me to do? So let's talk about that. All right, your first time home buyer, and you're thinking, I just don't know, do I call an agent first? What do I need to do? Okay, number one, you need to contact a lender and you need to find out what you can get pre-approved for in a loan amount. And this helps your agent as well. The thing is, you don't wanna get out with your agent and go out and look and find the home and then write an offer and get down the road and find out you can't qualify for quite that amount. And that's disappointing. So then you have to go out and you have to start looking at something maybe in a, lo in a lower price point. In the back of your mind, you keep thinking about that house. And so it kind of makes things a little difficult sometimes and a little sad for some, some people when they really got their heart set on that particular home. So do yourself a favor and your agent a favor and go ahead and contact a lender and find out what what that you can qualify for. And the other thing to ask them about is what are closing costs gonna run me on a home in this particular price point? Depending on the loan program, you may have a down payment. Uh, you may be getting 100% financing or 20 or 25%. So if you have a down payment to go along with that and closing costs, you need to kind of get an idea of what that amount's going to be to make sure you have that in the bank. The other thing is perhaps you can qualify and if you're fortunate enough to qualify for a program that offers 100% financing, you still have closing costs. You don't have that money in the bank and you need some assistance with that. Your agent needs to know that because then they're going to be able to structure any offer that you are going to make to maybe include some closing costs. So there's ways that they can work to try and make that dream still come true. So now you're sitting there thinking, hmm, I'm a seller. Do I really need to be concerned about whether my buyer is pre-approved? Absolutely, absolutely. Because let's look at it. You accept the offer and then you're three weeks down the road during the loan process for your buyer and all of a sudden they can't qualify. You have lost three weeks of valuable marketing time. Or think about this. Maybe you were in a multiple offer uh, position and you took buyer number one and now that's falling through. So you go back in hopes that maybe buyer number two is still available, but you know what? Buyer number two is already under contract with something else and you lost out. So it is a good practice to go ahead when you get an offer um, to ask if the buyer is pre-approved. Another thing that shows you, they're not just tire kickers. They're not just out getting home decorating ideas when they come through your house. And agents like that because they know that the buyer that they're working with is serious. You're not going to go through the process of uh, getting pre-approved for a loan if you're not serious about purchasing. So do yourself and your agent a favor and get pre-approved and you know what, your seller is going to take your offer a little more serious if they know you're pre-approved because they're going to know that you're a serious buyer getting ready to purchase and it could be their home. So, the lesson of, of the day, get pre-approved. That's it for me, Lisa Norton with your Paradise Group of Caldwell Banker United Realtors out of Niceville, Florida, where you call it paradise and we call it home. Have a great day.